Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share yet another update on my experience with the Microsoft Surface Pro 11 for 2024. Today I'm talking about the Flex keyboard, because at $350 without the pen, $450 US dollars with the pen, it is very expensive, but I would also argue it is critical to the overall experience you're going to have with your brand new Surface Pro 11. And by the way, I'll include links in the description for those of you interested in picking up either a Surface Pro and of course a new type cover, which will help support the content you're watching here. So on to whether or not I think the Flex keyboard is worth it. Uh, really it all boils down to pricing and if 450 is too much, which I think it is, but the market, whether we're going with Apple, Samsung or the like, Keyboards like this are all at least three to three hundred and fifty dollars, um, so it's not surprising that Microsoft priced things this way. And while the changes they made from the previous type cover generation to this one are small, they are critical. We now finally have wireless capability, so with the Bluetooth connection, which really didn't cost Microsoft anything, uh, it's such a small, worthless thing to add from a component spec sheet uh, perspective it's still critical if you want to use this creatively and separate the keyboard and still have access to, of course, uh, an input device. Then in addition to that, um, the built-in battery does recharge itself using the Pogo connection with the Surface. So that means you're never going to have to physically charge the battery inside of this. It will always keep topping itself off and charging uh, the pen if you decide to purchase that bundle. So. Definitely a lot to like here. Also, whenever you close this or open it, it's going to put the device to sleep, and then, of course, it will wake back up when you open it. And this is really going to deliver uh, the Surface Pro experience as it should be. You also are now getting a haptic trackpad, um, better key travel, uh, and it's just a better type cover than we've ever seen, and I would argue the best we've ever seen. Uh, so there's a lot to like about the Flex keyboard other than, of course, its high price tag. But remember, if you don't care about these new improvements or features, you can get the last generation type cover with pen for around $200. So you do not have to spend the $350 or $450 getting this brand new product if you don't care about those improvements. And then alternatively, if you really want to go budget, you can pick up something like this, which will set you back a whopping 50 US dollars. I'll include a link in the description. And this is true of all of these generic third-party type covers as long as they are compatible with the Surface Pro 8 and newer models because, well, the form factor hasn't changed since then. So again, for 50 US dollars, you're gonna get something that looks just like the official type cover, fit and finish, totally legit. It charges with a uh, its own Type-C port that you can see right there has a power button as well. And there's something to like about that. It takes about three hours to charge this thing up. And yeah, there, it's definitely a great alternative at 50 bucks. You have backlighting, you can change the color of the backlighting, but I will tell you right now, this is not going to deliver the Surface Pro experience the way Microsoft intended. That doesn't mean it won't get you by, but to give you some examples, let's go ahead and well, before I disconnect this, the magnetic component of this, it's just much stronger with the standard uh, type cover, the stock one, the official one. Um, and there is something to be said for that. Uh, if I go ahead and attach this guy, which you're just gonna pair up using Bluetooth like any Bluetooth keyboard with a PC, uh, you are going to instantly lose that feature of the wake and sleep function of opening and closing uh, the keyboard. That is probably the least of my concerns. You'll just hit the power button instead, not a big deal. But when it comes to uh, things like using the pen, for example, I mentioned the pen charges in that type cover. Here, that's not going to happen. So that to me is already a really big inconvenience if you plan on using uh, the Slim Pen 2. Um, any Slim Pen that you know obviously needs the wireless charging, you will be charging this separately from the device. Is that the end of the world? No, it's just the cost of your savings uh, moving away from the official type covers to this generic piece of hardware. Uh, in addition to that, uh, while the keyboard works well, I've had a uh, several instances where the trackpad just stops functioning like a mind of its own. Also, the keyboard does go into a power saving mode 
These are all little nuanced details that some of you will be bothered by. Others will think it's nothing and just, again, justify it because of the savings. And I totally get it. And what I think was done right here is fit and finish. It looks the role. It works. But I can't help but feel like it's a better than nothing solution. And maybe that's going a little too far. It's better than what solutions have been for years past, but it still hampers the overall Surface Pro experience, in my opinion, a lot when compared to the official type cover. And that really is what it comes down to. You know, is this going to work? Yes. Is it going to control everything? Yes. Will it give you the true Surface Pro experience as Microsoft intends? Kind of. Not really. Sort of. Um, I personally would not want to have to carry a separate charger for the pen. I don't really care about having to charge this, but not having the ability to charge the pen in the slot is a big deal. But the fact that it does pack away, look right, I mean, it's pretty good. I, I really can't knock it. And if the things I've mentioned don't bother you, this is the way to go. I personally, though, would not pick this over an official type cover. I would sooner, as I mentioned earlier, to save the money, just go to one of the type covers from years past and call it a day. You'll be better served by it. It will work better. Um, so there's really not a lot uh, to say beyond that. But again, this works. It shouldn't be overlooked. If budget is your only criteria, then I think this is a very good way to go. And there are several of these on the market. I went with what I think is the most reliable manufacturer. Uh, but chime in in the comments. I'm curious, are all of you out there getting the current Flex? You going with a previous gen type cover or are you going the route of generic Bluetooth like this? Because after all, this does accomplish that Wi-Fi capability that the brand new Flex type cover does. So, I mean, from that standpoint, this does make the Flex look a little bit silly. But when you get into the wake sleep function, when you get into never having to worry about charging the Flex uh, keyboard, whereas here it's a dedicated charging experience, that's when I think you start to wonder, how much money have I saved in the loss of all of those conveniences? And maybe it does outweigh it. That's what I'm curious to know from all of you, but now you know where I stand. I think you can't go wrong with either as long as you understand what you're gaining as well as giving up in the process of saving money. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them at that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.